class of Nukem High. Is your life shitter than you were expecting it to be? Has your partner left you, been hit in the dick, or just have no friends? Well then let Games Workshop take you in its bejeweled hands and lead you on a plasticky journey of escapism. Join Welshy, Matt, and Stoney as they take a light-hearted look at some of Games Workshop's recent releases in this, the new and improved Large Blast Podcast Model Spotlight. Welcome back, everybody, to sunny Brighton for this, the Large Blast Podcast Model Spotlight. I'm your host, Stoney, in front of this beautiful live studio audience, joined by my fellow hosts, Welshie and Matt. Say hello, Welshie and Matt. It's Matt Attack and the Welshman. And today we're going to be looking at some hot and spicy models. We've got some new Blood Bowl stuff. That's right, a bit of a change for you. So any Blood Bowl fans out there, hold on to your balls. That's right, Stoney, we've got two new Goblin Star players with Fungus the Loon and Bomber Dribbles Not. These fun-loving star players from Forge World have some excellent details, but will it be enough to win over the Large Blast Podcast Boy? This episode is sponsored by Gamer Crack's Crack Attack, harnessing the power of crack to help you game like a pro! crowd are going wild for these boys we've obviously got some fierce blood bowl fans out there so what do you guys think of these two this ragtag team of goblins that are gonna be out there star players on the blood bowl field it's wicked i mean this is a mod these are models that you can hear like you can look at their mouths and you can imagine them going like <laughs> and like spinning the ball around yeah wicked models wicked models he's got a backpack full of fireworks I particularly like this boy with the nose cover and just running around with a bomb, which is another, yeah. honestly, classic piece of cheating and unsportsmanlike behaviour, which is what the goblins are all about. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. They're just fun, aren't they? They're dynamic. The, like, just the counterbalance, just the guy holding the, the ball and chain thing. I know there's a whole box set in Age of Sigmar that looked like them, but he's turned up to 11, and I love that, because that's... We often, uh, on the main podcast, talk about whether 40k and whether Games Workshop models are getting like too cartoony, especially with like the Death Guard and stuff. But this is the place for it. Absolutely yeah. no issue yeah, with Blood yeah. Bowl getting super cartoony. Yeah. It's where that should be expressed, and they've done a great job. But we've obviously got some Goblin fans in the crowd, because they are going wild up there, I can tell you. Just so you know, Matt, we all saw you in the parking lot pulling that gamer crack up your ass. <laughs> Crack attack should only be interested already. The question still remains is where are we going to put these two spicy lads on our scoreboard? Let's have a look and see how we're standing. We've got everything still to play for on the tier list. Up in the S tier, we got the gib that cleans that one guy's sword. Then tied up in the middle, we've got the Dark Reaper and the Warpsmith on a C and D respectively. And at the very bottom, we've got the Stinky Tree Man bringing up the F tier rank. Well, Stoney, I am going to. Oh, it's close. I'm going to put it in S. Don't touch it, it's too long. Oh, yeah. I am the one, the way your son don't need the guns to get respect upon the street. I think. Oh, oh shit. I think. Oh. S alert, ring the S bell. We've got a potential S on our hands. S, 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 S. So just judging the model, it would be an A. But I'm judging how well the model fits into Blood Bowl and it fits the setting perfectly. And that's why I'm giving it an S. Ooh, big words, big words indeed. I mean, myself, I, there's, I don't think I can give this an S tier. I don't think I can allow this to head into S territory, personally. But I, when I first saw it, I thought B. I thought it's, you know, it's a spice model. It's definitely, it's good. Am, am I excited about it? Does it keep me up at night thinking about all the conversion ideas and stuff? Am I reaching for my wallet to buy this model? No, I'm not. So for me, I can't give it an S. I've got to, I've got to be like a B or something. Well, yeah, I also saw Matt in the parking lot before the show just pounding litre after litre of that gamer crack up his ass. Don't you think that's going to affect your judgment when scoring? Here he goes! I'm going to saloon! Oh no! He's fumbled the 10-yard mark! It's an A! An A? Okay, well. Well, I mean, you know what happens in these situations when you've got a high and a low, we've got to go in the middle, which would be an A. And to be oh! honest, 
To fungus the loon and bomber dribble cock get a very respectable A. Making them not quite as good as that gimp that cleans that one guy's sword, but better than the elder and the other twats. Let's see what the audience think about that then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, Matt, if you need help getting off crack attack, I've got a great number for people. Just... Like Matt's just exploded my ears. Oh, 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 oh. Cool, so another model goes into the Large Blast Podcast model spotlight. I've been your host, Stoney. Say goodbye, Matt and Welshie, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, Matt and Welshie, and we'll see you next time.